Oh my goodness, guys, y'all aren't gonna believe this. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. Kitty, we're right here, we're gonna help you. Oh my gosh. Guys, I was just telling Lex that that kitty, we haven't seen it for 36 hours. Last night at about 9, eight, or sorry, yesterday, Kitty, be careful up there, Kitty. Kitty, we're gonna come get you, it's okay. Oh my gosh, you idiot. Guys, Kitty, be patient. Be patient, baby. Be patient, please. Now, oh, don't go higher, no. It's okay, we'll get it. Now, hold this flashlight for me, will you? Okay. Now, yesterday morning at 9 a.m., I saw it on my security camera, but when I went outside a little bit later, it wasn't there. And so we just kind of waited, expecting it to come back, and he never actually came back. So I figured, you know what, maybe he's just exploring somewhere, just hanging out, just hiding. We'll come back and check it tomorrow. And so today is tomorrow. He wasn't here yesterday. He wasn't here this morning. That's when I knew that something was wrong. And now here we are at about eight or nine in the evening. So it's been 36 hours since we've, since we've seen him. Now me and Lex were throwing the football and I heard a cat screaming like crazy. And we came over here and looked and sure enough, there he is. That's where he's been this whole time. For 36 hours without food or water. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a ladder, we'll get him down. We'll bring him back home. Kitty, what are you doing over here? Your two sisters are good girls. They never went this far. okay we'll come get you i'm glad he, he what were you thinking when you heard the screaming you thought it was like an otter or I something you said or you thought otter. it was a seal otter and i was like no that's a cat and sure enough and i was like what if that's our cat what if that's orange and sure enough that's orange i heard it in this direction we had to come look and sure enough that's where it's been all right it's okay baby just wait up we'll get a ladder we'll get you Oh my goodness, look, we got an orange kitty back. I can't believe it. Guys, so I went and got Meg. I asked her if she wanted to be a part of this rescue. And she was like, heck yeah, I want to be a part of it. So we got in the truck, we got a ladder, we got our butts over here. And next thing we know, we see Lex. And Lex was shining the light over here. And the cat was on the ground level. So you're the only witness. Tell us what happened, Lex. So I was trying to tell the kitty from this side of the fence to not jump because <laughs> they were bringing a ladder. And then she started to crawl lower toward the church, the lowest point of the tree. And so I told her, okay, maybe now you could jump because she was really low near the, to the ground and it was gonna take a while. Then she actually jumped from the neighbor's yard and then the, the black and white cat, she started meowing and she heard it. And so she started to come over here. Oh, that's so good. So Olga played a part too. So y'all, so basically the cat went to a lower point on the tree and then that's when it decided it was safe to jump. Kitty, let's, let's not, why don't we take, why don't we take so her inside hungry. for a little bit? Yeah, get you a I snack. can't believe it. How long were you in there? Guys, I, I was saying a second ago, this, it's a boy, by the way, Lex. This cat has been missing oh. for 36 hours that we haven't seen it. And there was no, I went and looked all over for it. We couldn't find it anywhere. <coughs> and then me and Lex are out here throwing a football and we heard a cat screaming like crazy. So we went over and checked it out. I was thinking, oh my goodness, what if that's Orange Kitty? And sure enough, it was. Yep, that's Orange Kitty. And so Lex also there. said that Olga, that the Orange Kitty jumped down and didn't know where to go, but Black, no, but I think it's Olga. Not but Olga. Olga started meowing and then Orange Kitty came right to her because Orange Kitty loves Olga. Olga. So Lex and Olga saved the day. Good job, Lex, I appreciate the help, buddy. Wow, all right. We get Orange Kitty inside and get her some, or get him some food, some water, and some love. That's so crazy, guys. I can't believe that. Wasn't that crazy, Lex? Yeah, that was Were crazy. you worried for it when it jumped down, or was it low enough to where you knew it wasn't going to be a problem? It wasn't going to hurt them, but I didn't want it to, like, actually jump yet because I knew y'all were going to come. But I'm happy that it jumped now. Yeah, everything worked out. So, thank you, Jesus. Everything worked out. Everybody's okay. Let's go put the truck back. All right, so we're catching up on some much needed hydration and food. I can't believe that, guys. I don't know if I've even gone without eating food for 36 hours in my life, but I've, I've gone the little bit that I have gone. It's tough, so I can't even imagine. Noodle, come on, buddy. What are you doing? You're not an outside cat, Noodle Real. Trust me, you want no part of what this guy just went through. Orange kitty, I don't even, want to, I don't even know how you got up there. Guys, Meg, she's, you saw... 
you saw how worried I've been the past day and a half or so. So I was trying to play it cool, but I was really worried about him this morning, and I didn't want you to know how worried I was about him. Well, how about last night? Remember last night what I was doing and what you were telling me? Last night you were going a little crazy. I wasn't as worried last I wasn't night. going crazy. But you saw how I was on the security Great cameras camera. going through all the footage the other day trying to see where he might have went, keeping track of the last time I saw him on a camera and what time it was and all that. Sir? Well, I just knew it was abnormal that he hadn't come for dinner yet. When I didn't see him throughout the day, I didn't think it was a big deal. But at nighttime when I give him their wet food and refill their water and the two sisters came, but he didn't, that's when I figured that something was up. And then... Today, when it was daylight, I went out and did a whole search for him. I asked around in the family. Nobody would seen him. That's where he's been. In the tree? In the tree. <laughs> Maybe he felt comfortable in the tree, and then when he realized y'all were out there. It's a wonder that he didn't call or scream any time in the past 36 hours yeah, until now. Safe, I bet he felt safe, but then and then he finally got hungry or thirsty and was like, okay, I'll go back and get some food. But then he's like, crap, I can't get down. Oh, gosh, what do I do? I bet you that's exactly what happened. But not to worry. The little guy's okay now. You're a good boy. You're not a good boy, but you're a boy. No. Why don't you stay no, out of trouble? He's a good boy. That's a boy. The one, that dumb one right there. This one's a boy. That one's a boy. Come on, boy. This Neck in the house we go. Down. You're a boy. Come on, He's boy. My hey, at least Noodle doesn't climb in 50 foot trees, though, and scare us. Half Noodle doesn't have the chance. <laughs> no, no. No. All right. All right, guys, but answered prayers that he's safe. We're really blessed, really happy about that. I say no pause. No pause. Damn, boy. You know, guys, I... for over a year, when me and Meg first met, no. she always talked about how she no. dreamed of, of having an army of cats. Nice. She would describe it day in and day out to me, her vision for our future. We have our own place out in the country. We have just all the cats imaginable. We feed them treats. We give them so much love. We rescue okay. ones that need a new place to stay. And, you know, I think that almost three years into our relationship, I think the dream has come true. I think that we've officially fulfilled the dream. What do you think, love? Are you hearing a word I'm saying? Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not feeling the dream, Stormy. Stormy. Besides all the ones in frame right there, you got your gunpowder right here. You got your pretty kitty right here. Everybody's going to freak out. This is where the cat sanctuary comments come in. Half of these are, some of them are inside outsides. Yeah, most of these are temporary inside cats. Most We have, and in this area we have five that are permanent, but the other, I guess, three or whatever, the other four that are in here are only on a temporary basis. They're indoor slash outdoor cats. Thank you for And mostly in outdoor. So nicely fit. But this right here is the dream, lovey. This right here, how many are in frames? There's six cats in frame right now. Too many. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why do you have it on your and head? Daphne, Daffodil's not even there. No, she's... Oh, we got two alpha females. We got... That's a problem. Yeah, these right here are two alpha females. They've learned to coexist with each other. But Working. They're... I mean, Loveland's not making a very happy face. I would like to give it to our to Itty Bit. She could try it. But, Bubby, you've talked about it for so long, how this was your dream, and now we're living the dream. How does it feel? Well, when I imagined an army of cats, I did not imagine so many that... You imagined an army of well-behaved cats. I did. I... I didn't imagine that, and or that, we probably have, or this. We probably have two out of nine that are well-behaved. <laughs> they're going to say they're cats, Megan. What did you expect? You know, I expected a little more. I did. I... Come here, Grumpus. Stormy, your claws hurt. You know what? Y'all are about to get... He's so gentle. Lavelle, see, he's one of the two well-behaved so ones. Who are the two well-behaved ones? It's probably Lavelle and it little bit, and that's it, huh? Oh, I was talking of our five. It's definitely Loveland and Lavelle, uh -huh. hands down. These three, problem, all day. That's that nothing, that in... No, sir. I mean, look at her, unproblematic. Except for when it comes to being the alpha female, but I can't really be mad at her about that, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> look, at, it's like a little gremlin. Okay, 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 okay. These treats. Are you a little gremlin in okay. room? I, I am going to give you a little bit, but you need to, like, 
you know, put that paw down. Don't worry guys, we keep our house very sanitary. We keep everything clean, take care of the litter robot. The litter robot helps keep everything That's sa what I'm saying, sanitary. who cares how many cats we have in our house as long as they're all fed, they're all taken care of and everything's clean. Yeah, well, as long as we're healthy and they're healthy and why is it anybody on your we have over is healthy. Case in point. Case in point guys, right? We have clutter because we're busy, but man. There's not even clutter. There's clutter. If someone you know, reacts to this right here, okay, the, now, one of no, the cats got. See, that, no, that's 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 a whole Loveland thing. Loveland, you put that, I put it in the sink every day, and Loveland pulls it out and gets well, up there. Well, what, cl what clutter is there? There's a few treats right there that I assume you put <laughs> no, up there. No, do not go show in our house clutter. Oh, no, I'm showing, like, is that really clutter? A little thing no, of litter? No, clutter is just like. When we get back from, like, all my makeup is still sitting on the counter from alive, you know, like clutter. That's just, a home. Nobody. That's what I mean. Clutter is no, like no, a home. Nobody's thing. home is 100% free of clutter. And if they claim Some that it is, are. if they claim it is, they're lying. All righty, guys. Well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Look at the little kitty cats. All three of them are doing so good today. We're outside playing some football with my brother. Once again, hey, Lex. We're all just hanging out, a little daffodil, trying to see what Chia's all about. And yeah, all is good. We're thankful, we're blessed, we're happy. It's a beautiful day out here today. Look at that, very overcast, very light breeze, not hot whatsoever. Just, hang, just hanging out, just having fun. Alrighty guys, well with all that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys wanna see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.